Hey folks, this is Nick. And I'm Brandon. And this is Coast to Coast. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing? I'm getting better. Oh, God. Well, first things first, what's up, all you beautiful people, and welcome back. Wait a minute. To the Coast to Coast podcast. Does that mean you noticed I was recording already? Well, yeah, I heard it as soon as uh, as soon as you let me in the room here. Buddy. Really? Yep. Yep. Recording in progress. That's what she says. It's weird. Uh, Zoom. They don't let you down now. I, I, before, before you could pull the wool over this sheep's eyes, but uh-uh, 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 I see that fucking wolf coming. I hit record before you even came in the room, and I still told you it's interesting. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, okay. So, dude, yo. First off, first off, We got to talk about this. All right. YouTube. Oh. And the last episode that we did, we had your daughter here, and we were just goofing around, having a good time, right? Not doing anything off the cuff yeah. or anything like that. I mean, it was, it was good, legit fun. We played a couple Smule songs. Yeah. We even went to YouTube. And looked up a couple songs to like do a live karaoke thing. The audio was all fucking all over the place for whatever reason. Like there's a delay on your end or my end to you or something. Mm. I don't know. But dude, they took the whole damn thing down. <laughs> Blockioso. Weird. That was crazy. That's some bullshit. We'll see how it goes. I disputed it. So during the dispute, they released it so people can watch it. Yeah, yeah. You can go. You can go back on uh, on YouTube. Check out Coast to Coast episode twenty two under the good old boys sound room, and uh, you can see us on camera. Yeah. Or you can check us out on you know Spotify and Apple Podcasts oh, and all yeah. that stuff, and just listen to our wonderful voices. I actually split twenty two <laughs> and a half, and then put yeah. part one and two on Instagram so people could watch it because it was blocked on YouTube. Oh, nice. And then I noticed that YouTube unblocked it, but we, I don't know how for long. Yeah. They, see, they did a the couple of songs that did the same. You can't be monetized, but the one with where I did with Hootie, mm -hmm. that one caused them to block me altogether. Oh, shit. Well, and here's the thing about that, dude. I know their whole thing is like, you can't be monetized because of this content that's within your content or whatever. Motherfuckers, we're not monetized anyways. <laughs> we don't fit the criteria. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, maybe someday in the future or whatever, but as of right now, like, we don't care <laughs> about money because we're not making any, okay? It's stupid. We should be. I keep forgetting to. We should be going through these and putting in the credits, crediting the song to these people. You're absolutely 100% right. We probably should do um, But... There's a thing called fair play. Yes. So when you have a song or fair 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 use. However, the, on YouTube I thought it said I think it's fair, the fair play. use act or something. But uh if you we don't want to be misleading. Don't do it exactly and it's like changed up some, then you can play it. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. And being that it's just Yeah, so like if you if you do a uh, if you do like a mashup or whatever, it's fine, yeah. right? Yeah. So Really, you should get monetized because this is a podcast. It just has something in there we're spotlighting. We're not making money off that song. We're making money off of what we're doing here on the podcast. If we were able to make money, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the thing is, when you think about that song with <clears throat> Darius Rucker, mm -hmm. I sing it with him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just like the Lewis Capaldi songs that I did. Yeah. I sang those songs with him. Yeah, but they didn't block it from yeah. you. They yeah. said, oh, that's yeah. Darius. We're well, blocking you, some bitch. But the let me ask you this, dude. I have a question for you. The shirt that I'm wearing right now. Yeah. H -W HWMF. Okay. It stands for hardworking motherfucker. Right. 
It's by a clothing line called All American Roughneck. Okay. A uh, gentleman by the name Seth Ferrosi, he's a former professional bodybuilder and all that. He owns the AAR um, clothing line. Okay. Right. He also owns a supplement company called Axe and Sledge and another one called American Made Nutrition. And he does all this great stuff. He's also a YouTuber. Okay. Oh, you told me about uh, this guy. And they have the HWMF podcast as well. Well, let me ask you this because I'm wearing one of their fucking shirts. <laughs> Does that mean they get all of the proceeds <laughs> from this episode if it becomes monetized somehow? <laughs> like, that doesn't There's make so any fucking sense, There's so many weird twists right? and turns and holes. It's so stupid. Oh, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's going on. The world around me and where I live is literally on fire, <laughs> it's, which is another thing that I wanted to talk about today. Yeah, we'll actually. get to that because that fire is going, ain't it? Oh. Well, dude, it's not just that one, bro. We've got we've got the Caldor fire going yeah, on, which far is, from, yeah. is literally like a 30 minute drive away from where I live. OK, east. Um, and then we've got the Dixie fire going on up uh, in the next county north of me. And that one's burned over six hundred thousand something acres. The Caldor fires burned over a hundred thousand something. Acres. And now there's some in South California. <sighs> oh, dude. The other day, um, the other week. I came out to my car to go to work and ash was falling down yeah, you told, yeah. from the sky. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, went to bed last night. It was like clear outside. You could see the stars and the moon and everything. Woke up this morning, opened my door, and I swear to God, it was like a campfire a foot away from my face. Horrible air so quality, man. Smoke. You got to be careful in that shit. Absolutely nuts. But <clears throat> it does lead me into my next point that I, I, I do want to make about the Caldor fire, and I've got... A TikTok profile pulled up right oh here. Oh boy. Just this will be super quick. Little plug for my buddy. Okay. Uh, I have a friend, Morgan Earl. Uh, he's been my, a buddy of mine for forever, dude. He was one of my first roommates, actually. Um, and he has a TikTok account, Earl Fam Builds. And at the top it says the quote unquote Lego dad. He's got six hundred and twenty four thousand followers. Mm. Dude, a half a million followers, bro. Okay. He's got his own podcast, and he was just on the news uh, the other day, uh, literally yesterday, um, the local news here where we live, because they're calling him the quote-unquote Caldor Fire Santa. Dude, Good Lord. he is going to the Lego store, okay, buying just an asinine amount of Lego products, and he's taking them up to the evacuation sites and the um, – the shelters and the like koa campgrounds and shit and he's giving these legos away for free to the kids that's cool because they didn't have the, it's not like they brought all their fucking toys and shit with them right? right so um the first run that they did he's calling it the smile run which is that's awesome cool. yeah the first one they did he actually him and his wife funded 100 percent on their own um, and the last few runs that they've done, they've actually funded through uh, two separate two separate things. One, you can go to um, a website. It's www.earlfam.com, E-A-R-L-E-F-A-M.com. And you can donate there and, you know, whatever you put forth as far as donations i guarantee you guaranteed it's not like he's doing any shady shit i've known this guy for like 15 fucking years he's one of the best human beings on the face of the fucking planet it is going to go to legos for kids in need that are suffering because they've been evacuated out of their houses because their houses are fucking burning down in these damn fires that's super cool um, man hell yeah dude and then um if you go to his tiktok page you just search on tiktok at Earl Fam Builds, E A R L E F A M B U I L D S. There's actually a link for uh, uh, Venmo. You can donate right there on his TikTok page if you're so inclined. Now, You'll have to put that in the obviously description. Obviously, I'm not saying, oh, yeah. Obviously, I'm not saying anybody has to go do that or feel obligated or anything. No obligation whatsoever. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. If you can only give a dollar, give a dollar. Like, yeah. whatever it is, you know, because. Like I said, he's he's providing not just toys, but Legos for these kids, dude. Something for them to build and make. And it was cool because I watched the news program yesterday. And he was talking about how 
not only were these kids putting together these Lego sets and, and building them how they were supposed to be, but they're kids that have never met before, right? Other than the fact that they're at this evacuation shelter, they don't know each other from Adam, and they're bringing their Lego sets together and through their own imaginations, okay? They're not sticking to what's in the box. They're building their own castles and fucking paradises mm -hmm. and shit together. That's awesome. Like, this shit is legit. Yeah. If anybody out there that listens to this or sees it on YouTube, please, if you can, go ahead, go over to my buddy's website or his TikTok page. Give him a follow while you're there because I'm shit, half a million follows. <laughs> Let's get him to a million. Yeah. <laughs> and anything that you can do, that it'd be greatly appreciated, I'm sure, uh, by all those kids that he's helping out because it's a fucking phenomenal It's cause. a good thing. That's all I'm going to say about that. No obligation, you know, no pressure. Check it out. Just check it out if you want. But yeah, dude, that's uh, that's the big thing there. I do have. Uh, I told you. I told Your you. I brain. got so much fucking shit to say. I gotta just tell you quick, just to make oh. a little bit light of that whole fire thing. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. too many years ago, when I was on the Outer Banks. I was in a chat room, and there's people in California, and they're like, "I had hurricanes coming through." Ooh. And they're like, Shit. "You, your East joke. Coast, you can keep your hurricanes." I said, "I'll take the hurricane <laughs> over your six hundred thousand acre fires every damn summer, all day long." <laughs> oh, dude, dude! Last year, the fires were just as fucking yeah. Bad. Almost like every summer, it seems like you guys burn up yeah, acres it's and insane. acres. It's insane. I don't, I don't get it, dude. I wonder if there's last any year, trees the, um, left. Last year, the ash was falling at the house. The ash was falling at my work. Uh, so far this year, I'm not seeing any ash at work. It's just around my house. But it's like, fuck, dude. Both of these damn fires are gargantuan in size, oh, right? Yeah. Like I just said, the Caldor fire, over 100,000 acres. Um, shit, when it was 65,000 acres, it was still at that time 0% contained. I don't even know if there's any containment on it yet. I don't know what's going on with it. I think it's moving east. Uh, I didn't get a chance to check the news on it today, but I will be checking it as soon as we're done here. That's for damn sure. Um, and then the Dixie fire up north, dude, over 600, 650,000 something fucking acres. Both of these are literally within th a 30 minute drive of my house. Mm. And I'm like, if these things change direction, I'm <laughs> fucked. Like I've got thousands of dollars worth of equipment here in the garage. I don't think that's going to be on my brain at the time that we're packing if it's like, hey, here's a fire at your back door. What you going to do? <laughs> you know, yeah. like, fuck, dude. I actually have been Just keeping my eye crazy. on that thing. Yeah, I usually try to check it um, pretty religiously, like every day. Um, like I said, I just didn't get a chance to today, so I don't know what the exact current stats are on either of those two, but... They're no joke, dude. I know they're hot. No fucking joke. And I I don't even know how it happens. All I know is every year my state starts to burn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a phoenix rising out of the ashes all over again every fucking year. Uh, it's crazy, dude. I gotta tell you. And then, of course, we have some years where there's like a huge massive drought and it's a shitty fall and a shitty winter where there's like zero fucking rain. So that doesn't help. I met a guy today uh, doing a service call on a camper and he said he was from Southern California. Oh, he yeah. has a ranch, a horse ranch. Pretty cool guy. Horse ranch in SoCal. And he's like, it's hot. It's, hot. it's cool. so dry. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> said, I actually have a buddy in Northern California. We damn podcast together and stuff. I said, yeah. and he's mowing his grass and whatnot. And I said, not long ago, he posted, a, he posted a video of, I think it was cool outside, and you guys were able to go out or something, and the grass was just toast. <laughs> the guy's <laughs> like, yeah, that's what <laughs> happens. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah, dude. No, it's no joke, man. It like it dies every year. Things catch on fire every year. It's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Uh so before I move on to my next spiel that I gotta say, because I got way too much on my mind oh, today. Geez. What's new with you, man? I know you got stuff. Eh, I don't really have a ton. All right. Well, then, my, that. I'll just keep talking for the my, next 45 minutes. <laughs> my, uh, my cousin that I work with, he's on vacation this week. So, oh, man, I'm rolling. Yeah. Busy as wouldn't believe it. Working your ass off. Which is a good thing because, like we know, my daughter was here last week. Spent a week with mm -hmm, her. Mm -hmm. Ain't seen her in six years. 
Well, and that's the thing. When you come back from vacation, you're supposed to work your ass off. Oh, well, I am. And it's probably a good thing because... <laughs> that's, uh, what was it? It's uh, it's like Newton's law or something like that, oh. right? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go on vacation. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to relax. I'm going to hang out. <laughs> First day back at, at work. Least they, what, you son of a bitch. They for the most part relax. And it was, oh my God, I had such a great time. My daughter was amazing. Oh, but bet. when she left, dude, for it was actually Thursday night after we podcasted. Uh-huh. We went in and we hung out downstairs and then I went to go down and hang out with her for a little bit, even though it was late, but she was on the phone with her boyfriend. So I was like, well, I'll give you privacy. So I went to bed and I laid there, did my prayer stuff or whatever. And started mm -hmm. thinking about, I was like, tomorrow's the last full day. She's out. And I like started like crying. I don't even gonna hide it. I don't, I don't blame And then you. the next day, even though I had all Friday and then some of Saturday, Friday, I was on and off looking at her and just, I'm like, man. Saturday was super killing me. She went to a wedding with me, and I just struggling, struggling. And then on the way to the airport, dude. Then in the airport, like the way Buffalo Airport is, you got TSA, and you go through all the security, and then there's this <laughs> little space next to it with a like a you know the things they put up in the aisles at stores and shit, so that you can't kind of keeps you aligned. Oh, a little like dividers yeah. or whatever. To keep yeah. you where you can't go in, but you can go as far as you can to watch your whoever go through security. Mm -hmm. Dude, I walked all the way till I was against the wall and watched her until she was completely gone. I would not take my eyes off her. And people were, I as was, you should. dude. As you should, buddy. The whole time, all well, the way I out mean, of the it's airport. Been, it, it had been forever. It was, since dude. I could not contain right? it. I, mean, I could not. It was so, I could not. I'm then sorry. I sat in the park a lot, and my wife's like, are you. You ready to? You? I was like, I do not want to leave this airport until her plane takes. Like, I wouldn't leave the airport until she was like gone. Yeah. And that whole rest I of the day, think... the next day, it took me a couple of days to start leveling off. Man, looking at the pictures of us hanging out, and I'm making this a sad podcast all of a sudden. Well, you po you posted that you posted uh, that awesome TikTok video. That TikTok video you, was fucking. Did badass, you like it? Dude. I did. I did. I gave it a heart. Ugh. I couldn't bring myself to comment because, you know, I didn't want to upset you in any way, shape, or form, but uh, I gave you a heart. I was glad I worked hard. I was worried about today because we just podcast last week, and I was worried, like, I'm going to think about that she was on it, and then... <laughs> but I'm good. It happens. <sighs> it's going to be like that for a while, dude. You know, I mean, she was here. You hadn't seen her in, you know, what Six I'm years. sure feels like an absolute oh. fucking eternity. And she was here for a week, which when it first starts, it's like, oh, cool. We got all this time. Right. And then the next thing you know, you blink and it's dude, over so fast. Right. So, of course, you're going to feel like that, dude. And you're going to feel like that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. As you should. Yeah. As I th as I think any good, loving father would who doesn't get to see their kids. Very my wife, often, my know? wife never was like, if you didn't feel that way, that would be the problem. Cause I was, I, I, yeah. If you didn't, if you didn't feel I kept that collecting way, you'd be a piece myself, of shit and I'd be like, later, dude. Yeah, I kept collecting <laughs> myself, going, stop it, stop it. Like I'm just an idiot, and they're like, no, you'd be an idiot if you weren't. Yeah. So, no, something like that should absolutely yeah, tear you apart, dude. I know. She was cool though, wasn't she? Oh, your daughter's hella oh, smart, man. dude. Brilliant. Hella smart. I was. I. I don't know if you noticed because <laughs> I'm. I think I've still got some. I curse a lot. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I actually, dude, I tried to censor myself a little bit more than normal on that last episode because she was sitting right there, and I know she's like, she's not, she's not old or anything. She's like what, seventeen, yeah, right? She curses. And I don't like here, it, but she you know, does it, and I can't do anything about it. So I just, well, I, I would catch myself a couple times. <laughs> just, damn it! <laughs> I was trying to be good. <laughs> A positive influence but yeah what can you do oh, words are words people are going to use them regardless tis what it is. i'm definitely going to work with her on setting up a podcast with her again at least having her on part to hell do yeah. that narcolepsy awareness thing oh hell yeah dude hell yeah i don't even want to get into that very much further because when that episode comes i want to make sure that the people tune in because there's a lot to be said about oh, that yeah. 
In, uh, in brighter news. In happier times. <laughs> my, uh, my wife has finally caught up with the times. She got herself an old Tiki Taki account. Oh. <laughs> Brits on TikTok. <laughs> and dude, she is on TikTok, buddy. Really? <laughs> yeah. She went full bore. She, she, she jumped in head first, dude. <laughs> is she videoing or just yeah. looking? Oh, no, she's not making any videos or Fifth. anything. She's just watching. My, she's just watching. My wife did the same thing. And, uh, she oh, finally yeah, made dude. one and she's just. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> when she got it on uh, on day one, um, I, I come home from work and she was talking about it. She's like, oh, check out this thing I saw on TikTok. I'm like, you finally got a TikTok account, huh? She goes, yeah, I spent like three hours on this fucking <laughs> thing today. <laughs> That's TikTok, man. If you don't watch it yourself, oh, you can get stuck on that. Oh, Man. dude, easy. easy. I have to be careful oh. during my um, my breaks and my lunches at work. Like today, I made it a point. Do not go on TikTok because, bro, I'll forget to eat. <laughs> like, I'll just sit there and watch and I'm like, oh, fuck, I've got five minutes left on lunch and I haven't even eaten anything yet. And I'm going to let my students back in. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, what's on the next video? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm already this far. All right, well, keep going. <laughs> My oh level. my god, dude! But yeah, dude, she uh, she discovered the TikTok rabbit hole, <laughs> and uh, it's awesome, dude. Because I'll see shit and now, I get to text it to her. You know, that's cool. Uh, she'll send me something every once in a blue moon, and I'm just like, yeah, this. Is you gotta send her. Our, <laughs> she's gotta follow us. What, honey? I love you. Um. She's got to follow coast yeah, to coast, man. Any Anything I say on here, she's heard me say worse anyways. <laughs> she's going to look at our coast to coast TikTok and really be like, these guys are stupid. <laughs> yeah, she's going to, she's going to find, she's going to find that. This is what he spends an hour a week out there doing. <laughs> yep. That's right. Even longer, actually. You should hear the phone calls we have. <laughs> In the middle of the week, and <laughs> what we talk about uh, when the show's over, good Lord. <laughs> it never fucking ends. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, bro, we need to just be like mic'd up with cameras 24 7 and just, just record go. it all. Like, like, let's just start a fucking like reality TV show. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Life with Nick and Brandon, <laughs> <laughs> coast to coast life. Oh my god, I don't know. Oh man. Oh, dude, I got to tell you something. I got to tell you something. Because it freaked me the fuck out. What? I think I might have a ghost story to tell. I know. I know you you get excited <laughs> about this shit. I don't I don't like this shit. <laughs> this shit gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay. <laughs> Big old heebie-jeebies. So, it was about 12.30 in the afternoon, 12.35, somewhere in there. And I am teaching my class. I've got three students in front of me. I've only got five enrolled right now. So I've got, you know, the majority of my class. And all of a sudden, I, I see one of, my, one of my students, like, it looks like she's staring off into space, right? So I call out her name. I'm like, is everything okay? What's going on? She looks up at me and she goes, Mr. Metz, I think there's a ghost in the classroom. There's no ghost in here. Can we get back to work? She goes, no, 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 no. You don't understand, Mr. Metz. I just watched the bathroom door close all the way by itself. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So moving on, and I finished the, the lecture and the lesson and everything, right? So check this out. It gets weirder, dude. Okay? It gets, it gets, for me, it gets fucking freaky. I'm sitting in my office. I'm wrapping up my day. I'm packing up my stuff. I've got a, outside of my office in the main classroom, I've got a table and like a podium and shit at the front of the class from where I teach behind, right? And every day I put my gym bag, my lunch bag, my laptop bag, I put everything on the table and then I go and I take a piss and I wash my hands and I go out to my car, which is parked right there, literally right outside my classroom door and I leave, no problems. 
today. <clears throat> All right. Oh, fuck. And I told this to my wife, and she says, you've got to tell Nick. I said, okay. Today, I do my normal routine. Put my gym bag down, my lunchbox down, my computer bag down on the table. I got my soda ready to go. Like, okay, let me go take a piss real quick, wash my hands. I'm walking back to the classroom, which is on the far end of my classroom. Walking back to the classroom. I'm walking back to the bathroom, which is on the back end of my classroom, okay? It's about, I don't know, 40 to 50 feet from where I teach. As I'm walking, the air conditioning in my classroom is not on, by the way, because it's turned off since the classroom is at temperature or whatever, and it's getting progressively colder as I approach the bathroom door. Mm. The bathroom door is closed, right? I know nobody's in there because I'm the only son bitch that's been there the entire fucking day since I dismissed my class like an hour and a half prior. I open the door, turn the light on, the lights flicker, and I shit you not, dude, it's 10 fucking degrees colder in the bathroom than it is in the classroom. <laughs> I close the door, lock it, do my business, wash my hands. Did you feel like you were towels, in a little bit of a hurry? <laughs> dry off. Dude, I've got fucking... You keep making fun of me for goosebumps, dude. I got fucking goosebumps right now, buddy. <laughs> dry my hands, and as I'm reaching for the light switch to turn the lights off, the lights go off. <laughs> the fucking lights go off. I open the door. I walk out. <laughs> And I am free, dude. Stand by. Maybe you can see these. Can you see? Can you see the fucking goosebumps, dude? Oh. <laughs> I walk out into my classroom. I'm still ice cold, like to the point where I'm almost fucking shivering. Okay. I grab my shit. I walk out the door, and I swear to God, dude, it's like, it felt like I walked from within something to out of whatever that thing is, if that makes any kind of sense. It's like I crossed a barrier, right? Mm -hmm. I get to my car, I unlock it, put my stuff in there, and now, like, my body temperature is coming back up, and this and that and the other, and everything's fine. What the fuck? I was only joking about sending something through the mics, but... <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> but no, dude, it tripped me out, bro. Like, when... Oh, I forgot a part. <laughs> I forgot a part. How did I, how did I fucking forget this? As I'm getting my stuff, before I walked out, remember I told you it felt like I was walking like through something, right? Like passed through something yeah. kind of thing when I left the room. As I'm reaching for my things, the bathroom door, which I had left open, I hear. And I turn and I look and it's closing by itself, just like the student had explained to me prior. Dude, I stared in that direction with nothing in my hands for like 15 to 20 fucking seconds before my brain went, run, motherfucker. <laughs> That's right. Then I grabbed my shit and I left. Dude, freak me out. I really don't want to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> like, at all. It's funny because I've been watching Supernatural again. Uh, oh, it's such a good oh, show. I love that show. I started all over. Hell yeah. Bobby. I love Bobby. Bobby's awesome. I love that guy. I ruined it. I, I ruined it for your daughter, I think. What do you mean? When I discussed Bobby the other week. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to... I got really mad at that show. You got mad at it? I got really mad at Supernatural because of Oh, Bobby. because Bobby dies? Yeah. Yeah. That made me sad. It was a I almost I almost shed an actual tear because I loved his character so I much. did get to that point in the end when Dean and them died. I was like, oh. I didn't know they died. You didn't finish it? I haven't. 
No, oh. I've never finished the series. I thought you finished. I thought you watched all of it. Damn. My wife, my wife and I, we have not seen. Well, my wife hasn't seen the the final season, and I haven't seen anything since the season after Bobby died. Whenever the fuck season that was, like eighty six. I don't know. Dude, <laughs> this show's been around for fifty thousand. It gets seasons. so insane, man. <laughs> well, one of the things that I. One of the reasons, another reason why I stopped watching it, aside from the fact that Bobby got killed off or whatever, is because I'm just going to say it. I don't like Cass. Really? Don't like Damn, him. Damn, I like Cass. I cannot stand his character. I cannot stand his I character. I like Cass. He is a whiny little fucking bitch. I like Cass. <laughs> That's the only way I can put it. You know dude, who else? In my opinion. I started, I ended up liking uh, Rowena. I don't think I know who that oh, is. Oh, you didn't get that far? Redheaded witch lady. I don't think so. I don't think so. Damn, then you don't know. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, it's been so long that since I've stopped watching Supernatural, I would literally have to watch from season one. You've been far enough where you see... Just to remember. Uh, the devil, dude, right? The actual devil. Lucifer. I vaguely remember. I vaguely remember vaguely vaguely he and i think it was i think it was at the time where i stopped actively watching as the seasons were coming out my wife continued on and i just happened to like catch an episode dude you it gets super nuts supernatural gets super oh nuts. What? it gets i do remember an episode where like dean and sam went to heaven or something like oh, that, they do that a couple times. back out yeah they end cool. up in hell. They end up in all kinds of places. Lucifer has a... I would not want their lives. Dude. Lucifer... Like, if it was real life, I would not want their life. Really? <laughs> Fuck no. That shit would... I'm not built for that shit, dude. I'm like, I'm built to be the dude that, like... Let me say my say my nightly prayers and everything, and everybody they just leave me the <laughs> fuck alone. Okay? I'm not Damn, guy. we could be the two like them. We go and destroy all the... We're hunters now. No! What? Fuck no! Come on. No! Yeah. I told my when I when I told my wife about the the possible ghost story at work, she goes, "You're gonna need to burn some sage." <laughs> Just I looked at her. I said, "Honey, you know I don't fuck with that shit." Dude, Lucifer has a kid, Ooh. and he's spawn a freaking powerful. He's supposed to be. The whole oh, I, you you're missing out, man. All right, I may I may check it out again. Hey, speaking of speaking of TV series, mm -hmm. series, series, I don't know, whatever. Um, have you seen the series C S E E? You were telling me that the Jason other Momoa? no, you were telling me about that before. Was it, dude? All I'm gonna say is season two is coming out tomorrow, and I am stoked. My wife is stoked. We cannot wait because it's an awesome epic fucking show um brit brit has said it like four times now i just I, I hope they release the whole season all at once because i hate it when they do it like here's an episode this week here's an episode ne next week here's an episode the week after that like they did with loki <laughs> yeah. like, oh you mean the way tv was intended to be <laughs> we've gotten so spoiled where we could just binge watch shit that people are <laughs> <Yeah>. like <clears throat> Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. We watched uh, we watched Loki, and every week, it, it, the episode would end, and she's over there. Son of a bitch! Oh, I gotta wait another fucking week. Well, that's what kills me when I do binge watch, yeah. and then I'm done, and there's I'm, I gotta wait for the next season, and it's freaking yeah. brutal. Oh, dude, I'm sure everybody feels that way, buddy. Uh, I know me. Like when I get into a show, I get into a show. Yep. And when you get to that last episode, or if it is a week by week thing, once that episode's done and over with, it it, it really does kind of fuck with you a little bit in the brain because you're just you're itching. It's like it's like an addiction <laughs> that needs to be filled, you know. Like, no, I've I need to know what the fuck happens next. <laughs> like, tell me. You ever oh, you yeah, ever watched wait uh, Grim? No, Britt watched it. I've never that seen was, it. That's interesting. 
yeah. Sleepy Hollow. She wa- dude, she watches she watches all I I give her shit all the time. I tell her, you honey, you watch every single series on TV that's ever been created. <laughs> Sleepy Hollow was a good one. It was only three or four seasons, but it was pretty cool. I think she saw that. I didn't. I'm going to tell you something real quick because my I was going to have my son do it, but I don't know if I'll get him on here or not. He talks like mm, he will. But... Dude, bring him on. Bring him on. Let's, Let's go. You, we had your daughter on here. He's Come like, on. do I have to be on video? I'm like, well, it's funner, but whatever. <laughs> it is more fun. So yeah. just in case I don't get him on, and if he comes on, he can verify it. Because okay. it was interesting. He's like, I got a ghost story for you. So we must know we Ooh. did a ghost story thing. I don't know. Ooh, he must have listened to episode 15. So, it's the only episode, by the way, that I have memorized. Episode 15. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking ghost story episode. So he's been to Japan. <laughs> he's got a Japanese girlfriend. Oh, I think you mentioned that last week. And uh, Right? I, I might have. So I guess in Japan, they have ceremonies for the dead or something. Okay. And August is like the peak month, and they say that in Japan in August, that's when spirits come back to the earth for the month. They'll look upon their family and stuff like that. For a whole month? Yeah, August. Okay, Aunt Judith, just stay away. So, that's freaky. he said, that here's the interesting thing. He said, I don't know if I told you, his girlfriend had to go back to Japan. She was there for months because of family stuff. And I guess she had a brother okay. pass away. Okay. And during August in the peak of this, apparently she gets a phone call and it's her dead brother who's not only dead, but his phone's not even on anymore. And yet it was his phone number and everything. (laughs) The fuck? Yeah. It's kind of like when my mother got called by a dead family relative. It's odd. I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> Can you imagine <clears throat> somebody passes away no, I and can't. Then they, they call you? No, no, no. But I told him, like I've mentioned before, I said, dude, that's cool, but they got to be careful with this ceremony shit. He's like, well, what do you that's mean? Crazy. I said, because technically, as much as people believe it and people go to psychics thinking they're talking to loved ones, it's really not. And I started explaining it to him. I'm like, there's documentaries. There's documentaries on paranormal investigators that gave up doing it when they figured out what the truth was and it scared the shit out of them. I'm like, they're uh-huh. opening, when no, they're doing that, they're allowing demons and shit coming and they pose as, oh, it's my brother. No, it's not. I'm telling you. And this is why I don't like talking about <laughs> it and this is why I don't fuck with that shit. Uh, so now he's all interested and he wants to look into the Just whole saying. thing. Oh, 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 oh. No. No. <sighs> anyway. Oh man. Anyway. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Bro, it's been forty minutes, pal. These go too fast. Can you believe that? We got twenty two minutes left, but I don't know if you listened to it, but I did a song today and I think it was like I haven't listened. Mm. Is it the one where you said it was your best harms ever? Yeah. Followed by an LOL. <laughs> Were you being sarcastic? I think they actually well, it was good harms, surprisingly. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll have to take a then listen. Then I played it. We obviously can't play it on the show here because YouTube won't fucking monitor it. <laughs> we'll take the whole episode down. Stupid. <laughs> we still love you, YouTube. We love you, but you're just, not you know, nice. We're, get, we're getting sick and tired of... You're not helping us get viewers. Taken down. Yeah, we're not. We're not trying to be monetized here yet. Uh, what do we got, dude? We've got like what forty subscribers? 41 I think forty-one subscribers. And I appreciate the shit out of them. I don't want them to go nowhere. It would be phenomenal if this were to actually become something that would be monetized on YouTube. That would be absolutely game-changing. Okay, in more ways than just one. But at the end of the day, you and I ain't doing it for money. We're so, doing it for I mean, fun. if you want to keep the finances and give them to somebody else because we use their song, 
Okay. Whatever. I got no problem. I got no problem with that until it becomes an amount that would like, you know, pay for you and me to be able to do this full time as this is our job and we don't have to have another yeah. one. If it's that kind of money that's getting thrown We've away. We've got the problem. Obviously we would change something. Mm-hmm. You know. But in the beginning here, <laughs> okay. You can you can take the you know one tenth of a penny <laughs> and let that person have it. It's fine. We gotta figure it out, dude, because I don't think it's fair that because we show somebody singing on Smule, oh, we don't our whole episode doesn't get anything. That's to me that's bananas. I do agree with you on that. I don't understand why they would take down the whole episode. I'm I'm actually really glad and I'm appreciative of the fact that they put the the last one up with Sky back up to where you can at least view For it. Now anyway. Um that's cool. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you very much, YouTube, for doing that for us. Um, I could see it if I like. Is, if is, we, I don't think it needs to come down. No, if we sing a song, and then we just put that song out there, and we're like trying to hey, buy it from me. That's a problem. Yeah, but yeah, we're yeah. not trying to make money off the song. We're making money off of spotlighting Smule karaoke people and all the other stuff we talk about. Exactly. Our goal is to showcase those people's voices and their talent right. not the fact that they sang a song by xyz artist who deserves to get the credit for it or whatever and whatever payment like we we don't want the song to be we don't want the song and the quote unquote owner of the rights of the song to be what's being highlighted we want that smule user that random person out there who's got some vocal talent to be the one who's being appreciated for the fact that hey dude yeah that was so and so song but you know what you really fucking made it your own with everything that you did there that you wouldn't find in the original anyway (sighs) and to be honest with you dude every song that we've played on here has been maybe not 100 percent completely different than the originals that are out there because let's face it we're talking karaoke okay but the singers that have performed them have done it in their own unique style so yeah it may be so and so's song but we want to showcase the other individual not the artist who originally did it you know what's killing me about that Hmm. two different things because i just thought of another thing too one there's tons of people on YouTube that are, like, singing cover songs and shit and getting monetized. Oh, yeah, look at Teddy Swims. Look at a bunch of them. Look at frickin' Frog Leap Studios, Leo. <laughs> they're, they're, they're taking Dude, songs they're and they're redoing it and they're getting... They're, one dude's got it on like iTunes and shit where you can download it and pay him and buy his albums mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. all covers. Mm-hmm. All covers. Yep. Yep. And I don't know if they've got the... I don't know if they've got the mechanical license to... <laughs> to do the songs and they've got to like show that they've got that license yeah, or whatever there something we got to do uh, here think about i don't know it'd be it'd be awesome if youtube would give us some feedback like hey if you guys want to be able to do this and monetize everything that you do here's one way that you could do it you get this form or paper or certification or whatever the fuck it's called right and then we won't fuck with you anymore that'd be great and that could be wrong. Maybe cool. it's not the same, but look at like American Idol and shit. They're all singing somebody else's song on TV. Yeah. Yep. Come yep. on. Yep. <sighs> American Idol, The Voice. Um, I mean, the list could go on forever. Those are the only two that stick out in my brain. Um, <laughs> YouTube. The only ones I can remember. I'm gonna, oh, America's Got Talent. Yeah. Britain's Got Talent. All that other kinds of shit. The Voice. Yeah. You know. I am going to sick all my hauntings on YouTube. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go get them. <laughs> sick them, guys. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, mosey, rosy. Well, it kind of, like, it makes me wonder if, just hypothetically speaking, one of us decided to randomly break out into a part of a song right would we get some copyright infringement for just even though there's no music going on we're just singing lyrics off the top of our head from a song that we remember would that be a, a infraction or whatever the fuck i just don't understand why we can't i don't get it 
I don't know. I don't know. Well, and the thing is, is they haven't told us. Like, I we haven't gotten an email at all. I'd... By the way, by the way, if anybody out there wants to shoot us an email, don't shoot us. Shoot us an email. You can email us. Yes, don't shoot us. Shoot us an email. <laughs> you can email us at coast, the number two, coast, 3301 at Gmail. gmail.com. Or you can find us on the old TikTok. You can find us on Instagram. We do have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook actually has our biggest following of any. I think we've got like 99 or 100 something people on Facebook. We've got like one on Instagram. Like, 30 on TikTok or whatever. But to be fair, we're um, we're not as frequent on social media as we were. I'm trying, man. Weeks it's and weeks and weeks ago. So and it's much. mostly my fault because, you know, four year old and four month old keep daddy busy. Plus 12 hours a day at work. Sorry. <laughs> we try. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best. Oh, see, I, I, I got to stop myself right there. Yep. because if There I goes our monetizing doing, on this one now. Shit. <laughs> We're going to get copyright infringement right there. Son of a hole in the head. Might as well finish it now. I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> you know, I when I went on, I, I keep checking the email to see if anything from my dispute. <clears throat> and I did see where one of your disputes, they said, no, nope, we're staying with whatever, what we thought. You didn't... Oh, did they get back? On one of them. I haven't seen that. On one of them they did, and they said, I don't care what you say. We're, we're standing our ground, basically. Really? Yeah. I have not seen that. Which I'm surprised, man, because you back. wrote that well. Like, you had them in the bag. But whatever. We got to research this and that, figure out how get, to get around does this. Does that get emailed to you? I think that gets emailed to you because it didn't come to the Coast to Coast email. Yeah, it probably does. That must go to your inbox. Yeah. Yeah. Can you forward that to me? Yes, I can. I would love to see I that. can do that, sir. I might even possibly reply from my own personal email to that and be like, no, y'all done <laughs> messed up. <laughs> you should share it on the episode. What? The email. The email? Dude, Isn't read it out. people are mean to us. Read it out. I'm fine with it. We got to... Uh... There's got to be a way around no, it, dude. Going deleting emails. There's got to be... Now, now I'm going through here deleting emails. Ooh, one of my other accounts. I got a new follower on TikTok. Yay. What'd you do? Aren't you just cool? Actually, no, that, that's actually pretty cool because that's the... It says... That's a side project. After reviewing your dispute, Audium Canada, whoever that is, has decided that their copyright claim is still valid. Audium Canada? And it's from, the video was episode six. Episode six. Hysteria, tears, and not hitting record. The melody found in one live. One live? I'm trying to go over to our Coast to Coast YouTube page. Let's talk about... Rat meow. It says, and look. the melody found in one live 2004 Trizal Poland claimed by Audium Canada. How can they claim somebody else's stuff when we can't even just karaoke it? They get to say, oh, that's mine. So you said Coast to Coast episode six, yeah. hysteria, tears, and not hitting record. Yeah. And it was the audio found in what again? One? It says, a melody found in one. One what? Found in one what? I'm so confused right now. Yeah, me too. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, can you forward me that and I will do what I can to combat that as well. Dude, this is that's before we even got the green screens and all the other shit, dude. Like episode six. What the hell are they talking about? I think I actually disputed that one too through the uh, through the YouTube studio. Um, All right. That's interesting. To, that's interesting to know that it was that quick though, because I disputed it last week on what Thursday, and they've got like thirty days to. Uh, I think it's twenty nine or thirty days to respond. 
They make um, it. That's a that's a pretty quick response rate. They make here. it sound like they heard something that was a melody piece. And like, I don't know if you know, but a while back before Tom Petty passed, uh, Chili Peppers put out a song, and he and his people heard a little piece in that song that sounded like his music, and he sued him. Really? Interesting. So you're that's to me that's going way too damn far. Live five thirty one two thousand four Charles of Poland claimed by Audium Canada. Oh, okay. So the melody found in a song called One. But we did a song gotcha. called One in that episode? I don't remember. I don't. I, dude, I don't know. We've showcased so many things. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. I just think they're ridiculous. Good. You can claim your damn... This, we're not trying to make money off of that melody. We're making money off of our oh. podcast. That would have been Metallica. I'm assuming. If it's the song one, right? It's That's Metallica. I don't remember playing that song, though. Let me see here. Yeah. Here's Metallica live in Krakow, however you pronounce it, Poland, on April 28th, 2018. I just went to YouTube and I looked at a video for it. And this is saying Charzo, C H O R Z O W, Poland, 531 of 04. So it's got to be Metallica's song that we that we played. I'm going to have to go back and listen again. Yeah, I don't remember doing that. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'll listen to episode six again on my drive, uh, on my drive to work tomorrow and see where we can hear that and get back to you and let you know because I I don't know I don't I don't trust it <laughs> I don't trust it dude we're the little guys man don't be like, rude share the wealth you know like I said we're just we're just the little guys you know we're, we're insignificant there's right now if anybody listens and they know tell us because there's gotta be I'm just too stupid and not enough time to research that deep. There's got to be a way around this stupid <laughs> getting blocked and unmonetized there, shit. There has got to be. be. Yeah, and what I wrote was pretty fucking eloquent for them to come back, you know, within a week and go, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, we know. understand there's these laws, but we're ignoring that and we're just going to keep. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. It is what it is. I mean, you know, maybe uh, maybe it's one of those things where, you know, on uh, on the old tubes of you, we got to just cut out songs and shit for YouTube, but we still got them up on audio platforms. The only other thing... I don't know. The one thing I could think of as a workaround, at least for now, but that would kind of mess everything up. Hmm. Is we still spotlight them, but if you want to hear their singing, we put that just in its own separate video, because like how I got my Smule songs... And who cares if those oh, don't yeah, monetize? Oh, yeah, because we don't care if those ones don't get yeah. monetized. Yeah, that'd, that'd be I good. mean, people would have to go separately from the damn podcast to, a vid to watch the singing part. It, it's kind of fun to play the song and then bring the person on, but... I agree with you. And you know what? We still could play the song and bring the person on and then just cut out that audio and video in post-editing, right? When we go to put it up on YouTube and then have the song on YouTube as a standalone, like what you're saying. But for anyone who listens in on Spotify or Google Cast or Apple Podcast or whatever, they would still hear the song play and then the person come on. You know why? Because those people aren't fucking with us. Why aren't they? Yeah, the audio, <laughs> the audio platforms. They're all leaving yeah. it alone. They don't care. They're, they're not saying nothing. Nothing. It's a podcast. You know why? <laughs> you know why? Because we're not trying to make money on the fucking song. That's right. And they know that. The, the, the song is not what's uh, making us money. You know, you know, all this complaining that we're doing, YouTube's just going to be like, okay, fine. <laughs> <you guys> <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> like in that that episode we talked about it not too long ago like we we should probably just shut the <laughs> fuck up because with as much as we curse on here we can't get monetized anyways because i'm pretty sure that's a violation of their fucking rules well now you just got to make sure you mark it that it's explicit well that works with uh with like anchor and all that for the audio platforms but does that work for YouTube yeah, as well? when i go through the settings i have to check whether it's suitable for kids or not Oh yeah, I know that part. Well, it's got to do with being. A- I don't know. I vague. I vaguely remember watching a few YouTube videos back a few months back. Can't remember exactly how many months back. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It's in the past. I remember previously viewing, okay, where some of the bigger YouTube guys that have you know hundreds of thousands of followers were like, you know, now I've got to start editing out and bleeping out my f bombs. Really? So when they when they say fuck, it goes. Bleep. <laughs> on their on their video you know what i'll tell you why i doubt it's I a policy i bet it's because of certain ads people won't put their ads on that will pay you if you're cursing and shit dude if that's the case then sorry to burst the bubble here pal you and i will never make a penny of ads. off of fucking youtube solely from my damn mouth and nobody else's <laughs> Our episode would sound messed up if we had to bleep it. There'd be so many damn... <laughs> dude, it would be nothing but one long fucking... Beep, bleep, beep, dude. beep, 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 I'm talking beep, 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 beep. Well, and that... See, that's the thing that I don't understand. Like, I get where some people come from with, you know, the vulgarity of language and this and that and the other and... You know, oh, you you curse every other word. You must be an uneducated motherfucker. Like, no, actually, I'm a highly educated motherfucker. And I choose to talk this way because this is how I choose to put emphasis on things. And this is how I add whatever intensity I feel the situation fucking needs. It's not because I'm stupid. Well, it's not because I don't have a good vocabulary. Because I could throw out some fucking words out there that everybody on the planet would be like, what the fuck does that mean? Um, it's like it's Patrick just, Starr says, they're sentence enhancers. <laughs> sentence enhancers, <laughs> I love it. No, dude, it's, it's, for me, it's just, I guess you could put it that way. Sentence enhancer, sure, why not? Um, it puts emphasis on things that need to be emphasized, you know. Um, plus, not to mention, I go my entire day at work. All 12 hours that I'm away from the house, when I'm here with my kids as well, when they're awake before they're in bed, I censor the fucking shit out of myself. I might say two curse words in an entire fucking day. So, me being me, I let loose. What can I say? It's your fault that I curse. I'm a sinner. Thanks a lot. Eh, God will forgive me. I love that phrase. It's like one of the most hypocritical things any Christian could ever I can do whatever say. I want. God will forgive. forgive me. <laughs> but like the thing about it is this, dude. I have never in my life thought that because somebody cursed, they were automatically a bad person. And yes, I said automatically, not automatically. Automagically somehow a bad person because they curse that doesn't make any sense but yet there's people out there that actually believe that shit yeah not everybody that curses is bad no. but i will tell you this hmm. i personally like if there was a lot less cursing would not hurt my feelings because i i'm in some aspects like you know it's a bit much yeah um i did for a while i got where i did not curse at all Oh, cool. And it was like, I don't know, just like, the crazy thing is, I think I mentioned this in one of the earliest podcasts. Uh-huh. Yeah, I remember talking about is that. If you do get rid of your cursing, dude, and, and you go for a while, and you just mm-hmm. all, you just don't, you then really notice how much other oh, people yeah. do. Oh, I'm sure. Because when you're doing it with them, it's no, there's no thought about it. It's just rolling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when you don't... I'd be on the phone with, like, my older brother, and it's like, you got a 10-word sentence there, dude? Only three of those words weren't swear words. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's like, it's one thing if you say, well, I went to the show, and the guy was a fucking dick. 
Yeah. But when somebody has to go, I fucking went to the fucking show and the fucking guy over there was a fucking dick. Like, why so many? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I agree with you. Bring it I back a little. You, you don't have to that go that far. far. <laughs> Calm down there. I agree with you. I have a tendency when I get excited, I I start to curse even more. I don't know why. It just happens. Um, probably because I'm just, you know. You're really enhancing your sentences. I don't know. That's all. <laughs> I'm, I'm really enhancing <laughs> my sentences. Exactly. He means it. <laughs> Jack Latin. <laughs> Wow, did you hear the emphasis on the F in that fuck that he just threw? <laughs> he wasn't kidding around on that one. <laughs> I'll tell you a real yeah. quick thing. Mm-hmm. So, You've got about 37 seconds. So go for bitch. it. Buddy. There you go. Cursing. <laughs> you sailor. So we went to our Erie County Fair. We went on a, we went Sunday, which was tough because... My daughter wanted to kind of go to that, but I couldn't. And now I'm at the yeah. guilt was like, it, it was hard to enjoy it. Anyways, we went mainly to go see the Crash Derby. Okay. And uh, we're sitting there and the first thing we do, we get there and we're looking for our seats and we finally find them and there's all these people sitting in our seats that we paid for. Okay. And we're going there and we're trying to find somewhere to sit and we look at these people and we're telling them like, oh... I hear. Can't you just let me finish this? I'm coming. I didn't say anything. I'm sending more ghosts <laughs> over there. These people looked at us and said, well, nobody's really sitting in their seats. It doesn't really matter. We're like, yeah, it does. We paid money to sit yeah. right here. Yeah. And they were getting bent out of whack that we wanted our seats. It bothered like we were dicks for wanting our seats. That's a little odd. That's your seat that you bought right. and paid for. And I'm watching part of the like group. That's your designated seat yes. space. And then I'm watching part of the group down there. This guy with a red shirt, and he's on his phone, and he's looking up seating and shit. He's going, see, it? and I'm like, oh, forgive me because I'm not like that, but I wanted to go down there and just label that guy so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to just plant <laughs> his face right in the ground. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so we're sitting there and finally it all that's that's when you just go up to him and you go you know what sir i'd really like to buy you a beer <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> i gotta shake your hand right now because if i don't i'm shaking your fucking neck <laughs> exactly <laughs> we're sitting there and i'm like this is just ridiculous my wife finally says this ain't <laughs> happening and she goes with a security guy and says who do i talk to to get this seating shit fixed and a guy comes over as soon as she starts talking yeah. to something like that they start moving of course yeah. they do so we sit there, and as the show goes on, and halfway into it now, all of a sudden, I see this guy walk down the steps, and he goes with a security guard, and he's pointing up, and he's talking like he's pissed off about somebody. And then that security guy's like, oh, yeah, yeah, and he's standing there, and then the other guy walks up, and next thing you know, the two guys start engaging, and it's right behind me. And the words are flying, and uh, I'll show you, and I'll put you, and then they're screaming, and I'm thinking to myself, there's little kids you're doing this in front of. Yeah. I'm gonna they're all drunken, no, drinking bastards, ass, yeah. and that's where I'm like, this is why, part of the reason why I'm like, drinking is just not that important anymore. People can't yes, just have a beer and be drink. peaceful. It's got to yeah. become a, I'm wasted, and I'm fighting you, and all this crazy, like, come on. Yep. Honey, grab your cell phone because this is going to be our next TikTok video. And it's, <sighs> it's funny, dude, because the security guy that he was first talking to watches these guys starting to get heated and they're screaming at each other like they're about to get into it. And that security guy just stood there and he didn't know what to do and he slowly walked away. He was scared to death. And he was a tall dude. Brings over and the, well, he goes and gets an actual sheriff, dude. There's an actual suited up sheriff. Yeah. Sheriff comes yeah, over yeah, and he's yeah, yeah. looking. And then he doesn't do anything. Like, he's scared. And they both walk off. <laughs> I'm going, well, are you kidding me? Well, Finally, there's that security guy. There's a sheriff. And he's two or three other different security guys. One's like an Indian-looking dude. And he looked like he would have done something. But by the time he got there, they kind of simmered down. I'm like, that's awesome. the very first guy should have said, stop the fucking shit or you're out. And he didn't have the balls. Who, the, the security yeah. guy? Yeah. And he did not have the balls. Uh, he didn't come from your group, did he? Uh, well, okay, so little thing about that there. I already gave away what I actually do for a living back when we talked with Ferris 
um, just a few episodes ago. That was my bad. So I knew something like this was going to come up one day and I'd have to explain some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Let me put my instructor hat on. Uh, the curse words fucking off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what the laws are in, in New York, obviously, because I'm out here in California. But out here in California, the, uh, the minimum expectation of a security officer, security guard, whatever the fuck you want to call them, is to literally observe and report. So if that's the case and it's the same in New York, then the security <laughs> officer that you're talking about that didn't do anything – legitimately did his job 100 percent to a t he observed what was going on and then he went and reported really? it really to the next highest authority anybody can figure, do that which would, be, which would be the law enforcement officer then the law enforcement officer came over and decided nope i'm not doing that by myself which is their prerogative okay um law enforcement they are to a degree they're kind of expected to do things right and jump in and do this and that and the other um depending on the exigencies of the circumstances if there's nothing going on that's putting anybody's lives in danger either the two individuals that are arguing or any bystanders that might happen to you know innocent bystanders that happen to be around um law enforcement officer might actually radio for some backup and wait for the backup to come because what's going to happen when you jump in between two big ass sons of bitches that are throwing going to blows with each other you're going to get fucking hit right and you don't want to get hit when you're the only sob around so i don't blame the actions of the security officer nor do i blame the actions of the law enforcement officer now mm. technically speaking they could have both teamed up and they could have both gone up there together. One of them could have spoken to one of the subjects. The other one could have spoken to the other subject. They could have escorted them down. They could That's have what I'm saying. There was two of them of at that point. And... The event and whatnot and why that wasn't done, I'm not 100% sure. Um, me being me and the background that I come from, had I been the officer that was working, your security detail or whatever i i'm i'm the stupid sob that goes up there and goes hey y'all break it up right now or you're getting tased and you're getting fucking pepper spray <laughs> pick one which technically you can't do no like, but that's you're not supposed to do that but i would be the person that would go up and actually break that shit up because that's i got paid to do that shit for like you know forever but those guys didn't um, even look like they were observing and telling they looked like they were scared <laughs> <laughs> dude, you're in the wrong line dude uh, yeah, dude, it's uh, it's it's the it's the protection of life and property through the the prevention of criminal activity via the physical presence of the person actively being on site. That's well, the general premise. They were definitely security. not prepared for something bad to go down. No. And I almost like that. Good thing it was good they calmed down because I was already like irritated with that one dude earlier from our seat. Yeah, like I still want to throw, I still want to throw punch somebody. <laughs> now I hear these guys, and I was so close to just getting up and looking at him, going, <laughs> "What the fuck is wrong with you two? Really, you're at something fun well, because all the kids, and you're all because drunk. All the kids are around. Yeah. You're gonna start throwing that. You're kind of language You're all drunk, out and you want to. This is what you want to do with something like this. You got. You do realize you're acting like an ass, not just in front of. All these fucking spectators, right. but there's little right. kids you're acting like this in front of, and you're fine with that? Right. Well, and not to mention, you're saying you're at a freaking, uh, well, it was a destruction derby or yeah, something, right? Derby. This is something that's supposed to be fun. Yeah. This is a family freaking affair, and dude. you're acting like, like that. Leave that shit in the parking lot. If you really got to do something like that, and you're out at an event, dude, go to the parking lot. Go to the fucking park across the street or whatever right. yeah, i don't know about where you're at but out here in california we have something called mutual combat okay it is not illegal for two people to agree to fight each other and therefore actually fight each other really? this is why things like boxing and mma and the ufc and all that shit can exist and be televised on tv it's not illegal you just have to do it the right way, the legal way. Yeah. You can absolutely go out and pummel the shit out of the person who, you know, freaking took your beer and accidentally spilled it all over your girlfriend, right? There's a proper process in which to do so. Right then and there in the heat of the moment is not the way to do it because then that's what leads to the crime. I'm like, dude, if it really was okay for you guys, battery. if it was okay for this, I would have done planted my hand in that guy's face earlier today. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> did I? I just kept my cool and sat right? there. <laughs> Well, and that's the thing. It's like we're not in the wild fucking west anymore, no, dude. Like, like, you don't got people going into shootouts and duels and shit on the street no more, right? There's no need to get into a fucking fight at a bar, at an event like what you're talking about, anywhere. Why? Anywhere. There's no call for it. I don't get it. In my opinion. This is just my opinion. 
That's the same opinion I have. There's just is. no need for it. Plus, I'm too old, fat, broken, and brittle to be getting in fights anymore anyway. I'm not as good as I once was. Uh, I got a few years on me now. <laughs> I had I had to talk the line. I can't sing the line because we, we don't oh. want to get dinged for it there. <laughs> you said the words, you're not loud. <laughs> you're, exactly. Yeah, dude, the, uh, the closest thing I get to fighting nowadays is when I teach my class actual, like, arrest control tactics how to take people down and put them in cuffs and all that kinds of stuff. And I teach them, you know, it's, it's a bunch of shit, different shit. I teach them Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I teach them a little bit of Judo. I teach them uh, something called the Koga method. I teach them all kinds of shit. Um, that's as close as I ever get to fighting now because my main focus and one of the main priorities that I actually teach my class is the verbal de-escalation of force, which is just communication skills. You know, you gotta, you gotta learn how to talk to people, right? Yeah. Dude, I, at the end of my quote-unquote patrol days, dude, I was talking people into letting me put handcuffs on them as opposed to fighting with them because I didn't want to fucking fight no more. I don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. And then so, I visit. <laughs> oh, you want to fight? <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> You win. <laughs> you win, buddy. <laughs> Let me buy you a beer. <laughs> I don't drink, but you can have a beer. <sighs> I drink, you know, three times a year. There's reasons for it. Anyway. Wow. Dude, oh, we went there. We covered some shit. Oh, me Ooh, we went there. <laughs> we done went there, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for being along for the ride for anyone that made it this far. Appreciate y'all. That's right. You guys are awesome. Maybe one of these days we will be able to get monetized. And, you know, at that point in time, we'll see where things go. But until then, we're just going to continue doing us and doing what we do and have a good old fucking time. And enjoy. Because at the end of the day, your life is your life to live. So you might as well do shit that you That's enjoy, right. right? Be happy. Exactly. So long as what you're doing is... Don't worry, be happy. Ethically... Legally, you know, right? You're not breaking any laws. You're not doing anything shady, right? Dude, you're just having good, wholesome fun. <laughs> Go out, do your fucking Go do thing. your thing. Chase your dreams, y'all. Yeah. Your biggest obstacle is the person that stares back at you in the mirror every time you look at it. It's the only person stopping you from accomplishing whatever it is the fuck that you want to fucking do. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. I could go. Uh, I could go so many fucking places right now, dude. I go so many places. Anyway, just remember that. All right, peace. Like I said, love y'all. Love, love my ya. buddy. We'll see you next love week. You, coast to coast. Ooh. Mother <laughs>